All right, we are back with Star Fox Adventure, and I believe we left off at Cloud Runner Fortress, which I believe, yep, is actually my favorite part in the game when you get the disguise. However, the part that always stumps me is immediately right after that, where you have to do the the tests, mostly the tests of strength, which, uh, as a kid, I needed the fucking turbo controller to beat. So we're gonna see how I do this, this time. This is Cloud Runner Fortress. I'll fly ahead and check if it's safe. Meet me inside. I oh, know they're about to knock your ass out, ass out here, and then it becomes like uh, a wannabe Metal Gear Solid title. The game doesn't one. The game doesn't know if it's Star Fox, if it's Zelda, or if it's Metal Gear. I still like the game though. Although it's not as fun as I remember it being as a kid, but. You know, it's still not bad. You know what the design here kind of reminds me of a little bit? Uh, Zora's Domain in um, Breath of the Wild. Like all the stuff under, under the water. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So I do think I need to activate something down there, though. You can't backflip. Oh, okay. <laughs> the first type of, like, actual platforming in this game. Ooh, that timer is kind of cutting it close, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No! Damn it! have to go all the way around last time. Alright, well, I'll be a little less cautious this time around. Although, really, is it that much different than what I was doing last time? Damn, that was five seconds better than last oh, four seconds better than last time. At least it warped you here and I didn't have to like swim. It's not that big of a deal, but it, it's something. Alright. Time for the best part of this game, the manual aiming. A lot of those games just hurry up and wait. It's kind of like fighting the Stalfos in Ocarina of Time. Ah, oh, fuck. What the? He got his ass beat so bad, he was just trying to pretend I wasn't there anymore, hoping I'd go away on my own. Yep, right when you get there. I know it was the fox that set you free. Now where is he? I do not know what you're talking about. Beat her some more. You will tell me. Where can I find the fox? He will find you. And he will destroy you. <laughs> Stop. It's over, Scales. Leave the queen alone. Enough. Take her away. The famous Fox McCloud. How nice of you to pay They're still just beating her ass. They're not taking her away. Show you some of our hospitality. Yeah, he thought he was a Jedi, and he can deflect all that. 
my staff. Don't you love it when, like, the, uh, in video games, when the, oh, so continue disguise, full guard. Okay. Come back when you need me. Anyways, in video games, when you get locked up in a prison, there's just a convenient way to get out of there always. Like, they don't ever expect these prison cells to check to see if anyone will make it out. Get the staff, hurry! Oh, nope, just whooped his ass. And they're gonna put him in the exact same cell he just escaped from. My staff. Or maybe that was a, technically a game over. Like, they just killed him. That would make more sense. I'm just gonna walk out the door. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you're you're without your staff for like quite a while. that it takes magic. Uh, you take over. Keep eye on prisoner. Me go for break. Hmm. I thought you were at without your staff for quite a while. Oh well. To find the spellstone, you must first activate the wind lifts. This is the key to the power chamber. The power supply to the, the whole city is down. These wind lifts will only work if you restart the generator. That worked, but I thought there's gonna be like an extra room. I was hoping. So would they attack me in the disguise? Nope, doesn't look like it. There, now I'm the king. It's not time. Hmm. This kind of reminds me of another level in a video game, but I can't put my finger on it. Oh, there's a thing I can climb up here. 
You know what? This right here kind of reminds me of the first flood level in Halo when you're trying to like escape the facility and they got all these weird boxes stacked up for you to climb. That's what it was. Because I was thinking to myself, Halo Combat Evolve, I'm like, no, that doesn't feel right. But nope, it was. It's a butt plug. Look at how excited he is for it, too. Guys. <laughs> I'm already running out of oxygen though. Oh fuck, do I need another gem? I need two more gems. Oh fuck, I forgot I had free freeze. I legit thought I didn't have it, which is why I wasn't opening those other corridors. I wanna check that out actually. Oh, there's three different switches. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Did I already get lost? I was gonna get so mad that started closing. Blue butt plug. He's just as happy for that one too. That part is two still isn't enough for Fox. No, he could take one more at least. So I legit thought this was the only switch because it's the only one that didn't have a light on it. And they got that weird little enemy in the water. It kind of remind me of the enemies in, again, Conquerors, the, the guys that sit in the water, the little goblin mines. I don't know what else you call them. There we go. Now Fox is completely full. Pretty. What the fuck are they saying? Alright, I think that's a good sign that I don't have to fear the robots anymore. Keep the disguise just to be safe. 